Hey, Rebel Rouser. I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. So, earlier this year at the big E3 gaming conference, the folks at Respawn Entertainment, that's a part of Electronic Arts, announced the game that they've been working on for a couple of years is called Star Wars Jedi colon, Fallen Order, and it is going to be released in the holiday season of 2019, so right around the time that episode 9 comes out, probably a couple months before, I would say, holiday season usually means like maybe in even October so yeah it's going to come out a little bit before episode 9 at the rate we're going and we know very little about it we know this much that it's supposed to be a story-based mission it's supposed to follow the journey of a Padawan who survived the Order 66 purge and it will be set, quote, shortly, unquote, after the events of Revenge of the Sith. That could mean, you know, pretty much right afterward. That could mean a year or two, right? Because it's 19 years in between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So shortly after, eh, you know, that could be a little bit of time. Interestingly, though, the time period immediately after Revenge of the Sith is currently being explored in the second series of Darth Vader comic books right now. And in those, Darth Vader is, among other things, hunting down Jedi who escaped the Jedi Purge, the Order 66 Purge, one of them being, spoiler alert, all right, so we're going to talk about some Jedi that survived the Purge but were killed afterwards, so if you want to not know about that, then save this podcast for a later date. Wasn't expecting to do a spoiler warning, but it's probably the right thing to do. Anyway, Everybody's favorite Jedi librarian, Yocasta Nu, was among the people who survived the Order 66 Purge and who was subsequently hunted down by Vader and executed after the events of Revenge of the Sith. But she, of course, was not a Padawan. She was a full-fledged Jedi Master. So, the question stands right now, how many Padawans actually survived Order 66? And we only know of two of them. You could argue for a third, but there's an argument against it. One of them would be the most famous of them all, which would be Caleb Doom, who eventually renamed himself Kanan Jarrus, the protagonist from Star Wars Rebels. Also, there's somebody named Farron Barr, and Farron Barr was killed by Darth Vader during the events of the second series of Darth Vader comic books that are out right now, so that takes <laughs> Farron out. So it's possible we could be tracking down Kanan and seeing what he's been up to, or Caleb, as he would have then been known. There's also been some territory covered there as well with the Kanan comic books that came out too, so some of that time has been detailed as well. And the person who you might want to suggest as being a Padawan who survived Order 66, but technically not really, is Ahsoka Tano because she left the Jedi Order and so she is no longer a Padawan at that point. So eh, it doesn't quite count, but still in the neighborhood. Anyway, there's also a character named Verla who was sort of apprenticed to this Farron Barr character and Verla escaped the events of the Darth Vader comic book at least so far. So, you know, it's questionable as to whether Verla could be considered a Padawan. Ultimately, you know, we're just guessing at who the main character could be, and it makes sense that they would just invent a brand new Padawan who survived the events of Order 66, and so we would just have to wait to find out who this Padawan is and to whom this Padawan had been entrusted for training, who this Padawan's master was. Oh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that in Star Wars Uprising, remember that mobile game? Well, according to Uprising, at least four Jedi escaped the Purge and were hiding out in a Jedi temple on Anoat. And so either of those four could potentially be our Padawan. We don't know what rank of Jedi they held, whether they were Padawans or Masters or Knights or what have you, but Zubain, Kondra, Musasiel, M-U-S-U-Z-S, <laughs> it's M-U-S-U-S-I-E-L, and Nuj, N-U-H-J. Those are the four that are chronicled in Star Wars Uprising. So they certainly are eligible potentially as well. But again, I think it's going to be someone brand new. So that's what we know about it so far. And if there's anything you want to chime in about on Jedi Fallen Order, then by all means, let me know. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. 
And that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. Over on the audio version at sw7x7.com slash iTunes or wherever you like to listen to podcasts, Spotify even, yeah, we're there too. You can hear Last Jedi Trivia, join in for that. But for now, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be.